Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to to at least get a shader for your 3D models in the same style of Killer7. As you can see, almost all of the scenery has some type of shading that isn't common, it, it isn't affected by UV mapping. Well, the way I can explain this shading is basically like uh, here it is. So, what's happening here is that you have uh, your models, and you pick an image for your uh, for your model, and you put put it as a literal mask, like the polygons of it become a mask to show the image. So. As you can see here, uh, let me just just in case. Yeah, as you can see, this is my area. This is the area that uses the polygon, who, where the image is in. So I'm going to cancel it, and I've taken it out, but it's still there. Why? What you are doing it? It's by putting it in the model. It uses as a mask. So if I take everything out, this is what the game is making is making a texture with in a gradient and stretching it and stretching it to the whole window so here if i stretch it out no matter no matter the size of the window it will always be stretched to like the entire window so for example here i'm going to put my mouse as you can see here my mouse is here if i go zoom out the light is still there because it doesn't matter where where I'm on, it only matters the stretchiness of the image. So I have all of these images, let me show you. Right here, I'm all, I'm using these pictures in specific. As you can see, this is the one for the grounds and the TV. And this is the Oh this window right here. The window doesn't use that, it's basically UV mapping, so you don't have to worry about how it's done. You have to worry about the normal materials. So let me show you the ground. The ground, it's basically, you pick texture coordinates, and you pick window, and you connect it right here. As you can see, nothing's happening. But if I put window on vector, it will be picked, and it will always be on the window, that's what's happening. If you put it as a reflection, it will be it will look different, obviously. Yeah, as you can see, it's like the reflection in it, and it somewhat is affected by the UV mapping, but not that much. You also have the camera option. As you can see it looks really weird, but the most effective version for uh, the Killer Seven specifically, it will probably be window. Who, in that sense, you have to make uh, images that work for it. You really need to look at it, and, uh, look at it, and go, yes, this picture works fine. So it's really like a trial and error, trial and error. Like original, this is this was going to be a red room with lights, and uh, I used the uh, obviously red colors, but then I switched to blue, and I was like, yeah, blue is much better. So what's using the what is using the this material, this type of shading? So I'm using this gold, this texture of gold. All of them use the exact same technique: texture coordinates, the image texture, and the material output. This is where the texture will be uh, produced, like rendered. And also to see your texture, make sure to click here or here to sh so that you can see uh, it's being rendered. Uh, where do I get these things then? You in this window, make so that the, that your mouse is here. Click Shift and A to add something. Then go to Search and put the and put the names of it. So basically, texture coordinates. Okay, as you can see, it's right here. I'm not going to pick it. Yes, it's it will be like this. So it's here. I'm going to delete it because I have my oh, my original one. 
and image texture. So image texture, it's here. It would be basically that. And you just need to click open and then choose the image you want. Now, all of these textures, so this one uses it, this one uses it. And uh, your object will have multiple materials. Because it's using multiple pictures for specific polygons. I'm going to go to edit mode. And I'm going to pick ruby. It was originally going to be red. And I'm going to pick select. So as you can see, this is are all the polygons that are using it right now. I want to ground. Select all of these. Uh, let's say I want this now to be the ground. I go to ground, I pick the polygon right here, and go assign. And as you can see, it now is the ground. But I don't want it, let's go back. I want to assign it as quartz. That's what I'm calling the window. The window also uses the this technique, obviously. Here on the scenery, I add a I had some parts that I originally didn't want to be like add this shading and this ooh, black part is one of them. So if I go here, as you can see in the material, the only thing I'm doing is putting the, the image t3.png as the rendered stuff. And what's happening there? It's just let me go here t3. It's literally a two by two image. It's that small. And the only time I ever used it was for this polygon right here. But I could go I could go forward to that. Let's go back to the to this to this scenery. What's happening here is that like I said before, it has the this type of shading gas for both the plants and the gold and bluish like purple stuff but for walls and specifically you have let me go show here it, yeah right here you have for example this wall that it's basically gray you have up here that's also gray basically everything is gray here and i wanted to give a shot at that because if you go here, for example, it's really hard to distinct the the ground from the wall. You really need to like uh, make a special version of this wall that could be uh, that could be literally the opposite. Let me go here and uh, go like this. Let me pick it real fast, and I want it. It's everything. It's everything. Okay. Let me assign it as here. Assign. And let me verify. Yes, as you can see, it works better to to the distinction of grounds and wall. But you need to take care of this. It can be, it can't be only like a modified version. On this occasion, I made a, a modified version of this. I went from this to this. It's literally the opposite when it comes to the direction of it. Because again, what's doing it, it's picking all of this and putting it in these positions. So it's literally just stretching it. Ooh, same here, same thing as here. Like it's just stretching it. So, and so we have what's needed to make at least a somewhat considerably like Killer7 version of this shading. Now the question is, how can I do cell shading for the characters? For example, if you want to do like fan-made uh, wallpapers, for example. You go to your model, any model you want, and you make this, this thing right here, this shading configuration. You can pause the video right now and go for it. This is image texture and then everything else you just name it except for one multiply multiply actually is mix rgb mix rgb allows you to mix uh, colors uh, and then put it as the material material outputs what does that mean it means uh, for example let me put it as mix 
as you can see I'm going to affect only the little here and what's happening here is I'm mixing both as you can see so if I go as I want the image and then fact oh fact because it's mixing and I want 100% I want 100% of this and if I go zero I'm going 0% of color one this one so what you need to do for killer 7 specifically you go and mix and go multiply it's the same thing that happens when you go to let's say where was it where was it yeah it's the same thing as you go in here who selects and go multiply this is multiply in portuguese as you can see it picks this layer onto the one below so i'm so what i'm doing is going multiply on the other color and i want 100% so it will mix both as you can see if you don't go 100% it won't work also i always recommend to go like this your image on color 1 the shading itself on color 2 that's my recommendation also make it constant and most importantly and this is going to affect your renders when you are picking the lights make sure to uh, delete the shadows why? because it does stuff like this you don't want this to happen you just want 100% like sharp shadows you want sh sharp shadows what's happening here is that your shading is basically made out of two things your bar right here which is your cell shading bar and uh, what I said, and the position of the lights those are the two most important things so for example I want to make it more dark or more to the right mean means it's less affected by light so the more area you have to the right it has more light so for example I want less light like I only want minimum as you can see it just started here because the lights are really far away but I want like minimal minimal I want like this and even the black if I want so the bigger the area the bigger it's going to be affect uh, the less it's going to be affected so for example I want uh, both because it's separated originally so I want like this yeah there we go it looks cool if you also want you can like uh, switch positions and also put colors in it what do I mean by that? let's go here and just make it like bluish as you can see it's more blue than black as you can compare it to the hair and the uh, and here because you are only multiplying it's only going to affect dark colors if you go for uh, like really light colors you won't see the difference when that happens you should go to add and then it's going to put that let me go for this I want also yeah let's go for yeah red, reddish colors like like here no, here I don't want anything and here don't anything so I'm going to go back here I want bluish reddish yeah as you can see it goes for really interesting effects so if I go like this yeah there we go you can get really aesthetic versions of the models but in those cases you really need to watch out for stuff that can happen like you need to make sure that well, that it makes sense for the for the map you are on for example it doesn't make sense or a shading to be like this but you can do it obviously uh, more stuff that you can do uh, that I recommend at least trying a little it's picking textures that are more uh, that are more drawing to it in killer 7 for example if you go to UV editing right here so I'm on the which texture is it no I want Okay, this texture th there we go so as you can see this is the the heads it's all showing all of it and if I go all here 
it's picking the scenery because again I made control J before but if you go like here like most of the polygons as you can see the way they did it is they picked a small size picture and made it like simple colors so if I go here on her lips like it's just this color like it's not that much harder to find they made it basically pixels you can make entire sceneries out of sceneries that uh, people etc just by colors and then you make the the polygons and themselves the detail if you go for more like an anime style it although I recommend uh, still not doing drawings that may affect the polygon accounts so for example these details right here if you don't want to put that much polygons you will prefer to draw it but it gives the problem of really showing how, how pixelated it is so you need to watch out for that I recommend like ooh, I recommend always doing pixel pixels for it for example if next thing just in case uh, in the game I can't confirm it obviously because uh, I'm not a programmer I can't see the 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 coding of the game but basically uh, what I believe what's happening in the game is that there's always a light with the 3d model and what's happening there it's there every time the model moves itself the light moves itself with it so I have two two lights here for example so what you do you click uh, your light then you click on your model with U shift you go with shift and then you press ctrl P to parent it and always put object keep transform what this means is the first thing you clicked in this case the light uh, it's always going to be uh, affected by this one's movement but uh, uh, what was it but since this is a light it won't be that much of a problem but in this case for example the original model of Kaede came with her head not connected with her body it was actually separated so I originally made control P for the heads to the model who making so that every time I moved the body the head would come with it if you want to connect for real two things you go pick one uh, I'm going to pick Kaede and I'm going to pick the entire the entire scenery as you can see and I'm going to do control J what this does is actually put all polygons like make it one entire object this is only useful if you have situations of wanting to put uh, separate separated parts combined it's going to be important for those cases in case in this case I had to do it for Kaede's model and yeah that's it <laughs> uh, I hope you guys can make fun stuff out of this it would be really cool to see like what's a like we have Shanghai on the on the last level right imagine if someone could actually make a Shanghai level where you can where you can just walk in it it would be amazing 